That's drunk. The Super Nintendo received a Jurassic Park game that looked like this, just a regular old top-down action exploration game that happened to feature one of the worst endings in any game ever. The Sega Genesis had a totally different side-scrolling platformer Jurassic Park game where you can actually play as one of the dinosaurs. Hey, that's pretty cool. But the arcades got their own Jurassic Park game, and oh my god, this is absolutely insane. Bear in mind this video is specifically referring to the 1994 Jurassic Park arcade game made by Sega, not to be confused with the 2015 arcade game made by Roth thrills, and this game is a perfect example of what I love about these old arcade games because the gameplay is so incredibly simple. You've got one health bar, you've got a dinosaur chasing after you, and you shoot at its freaking head until it's dead. Now, I would imagine playing this in the arcade itself was probably pretty amazing, especially since some cabinets had you sitting down with a seat that would move along with the action, so I can understand that if you're playing this game via MAME or on archive.org or something like that, it's not going to translate into the same kind of experience. You even had actual guns, lethal enforcer style, that you were firing at the screen, but still, regardless of how you play this one, you've got giant friggin' dinosaurs chasing after you. You think you got it down? Nope, it gets up and charges after you again so awesome. The cool thing is you never really defeat this T-Rex, you just end up driving it into a cave where it can't chase after you anymore, and the game transitions to you shooting velociraptors as they jump from nowhere onto your vehicle. If you survive that, you suddenly find yourself in the middle of a dino herd with these things charging at you before... Ah oh crap, throw it in reverse. You just manage to piss off a huge swarm of Triceratops and they want blood. Oh, and by the way, all of this happens, all of it, within the first 90 seconds of sitting down to play this one. This game just never ever lets up, it's incredibly intense. You think you found refuge in this jungle? Nope, they're still right there coming after you, it's freaking crazy. Later on, you've got these things that spit gunk at you, you've got a flock of pterodactyls dive bombing you, you're driving beneath the jungle navigating through tree roots and dinosaur feet. And the best part of this game is that it just never stops. Yeah, it's a really short playthrough and you can finish this game in 20 minutes or so, but the way it's structured has you white knuckling your controller the entire time. The game does not let up. There's not even any breaks between levels or areas, you just keep going. I love this part here where you drive up a dinosaur's back as it looks back at you like, uh, excuse me, what the hell are you doing? And then you ramp off its neck onto the road, it's so great. One subtle touch I like in this game, and yeah, it's hard to find any subtlety in an arcade game that's as huge and loud and in your face like this one, but you never really defeat any of the dinosaurs, so to speak, you just survive them. Like this boss fight against the T-Rex, you ramp across this huge canyon, and then it tries to follow you and it can't quite make it. Whew. Well, no time to take a breath because you're right back in the jungle taking out raptors. I don't know, there's just something funny to be about their facial expressions like, Hello there, do you have a moment to talk about our lord and savior? Ah! They just look so friendly and approachable that I kind of feel bad for callously gunning them down. I should mention quickly that Jurassic Park Arcade also gets big time bonus points for representing the movie reasonably well, as you eventually get to see the Welcome Center and some of the facilities, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, just a really quick video here about a really quick but incredibly intense playthrough for yet another arcade game that I never saw in the wild. It definitely has a unique look to it since the graphics blend 2D sprites with 3D polygons and it is two player compatible. And yeah, there's not a lot of nuance here when it comes to the gameplay, it's just you firing at anything that moves with unlimited ammo, one health bar, you don't control the vehicle, you just strap in and let the game take you for one crazy ass intense ride. It's an incredibly simple arcade game, and yeah, it's probably not as cool to play this one at home instead of at an actual cabinet, but if you dig this game, it's got two arcade sequels, and there's also the 2015 game I mentioned earlier. But since this game never received any kind of home console release, this is another arcade game that you've got to play any way you can. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.